Welcome back to A Closer Look. If you're just joining us, I'm Linda Fontaine. My guest this hour is Becca Davis. She is the founder of 100 Plus Tri-Cities Women Who Care. Thank you for joining us, Becca. Thank you so much for having me, Linda. I really appreciate this opportunity. Oh, you're welcome. So tell us, a lot of people might not have heard of 100 Plus Tri-Cities Women Who Care. It's pretty new, isn't it? Tell us a little bit about it. That's right, Linda. 100 Plus Tri-Cities Women Who Care launched last February, so we're only about 16 months old. Um, we're a local giving circle, so we're an unincorporated club. We have over 100 women who have committed to donate $100 every quarter to a local Tri-Cities charity. Um, and so our mission is to empower Tri-Cities women to be philanthropists and also to empower local nonprofits to fulfill their mission here in our region. And so well, what had, how'd you come up with this concept? Well, it's not my idea. It's, it's a great idea. There's a, a worldwide movement um, called the 100 Who Care Alliance. And so we're one of about 600 groups all over the world who operates a giving circle in the same format. Um, and so the idea is that um, women who join the group can nominate their favorite local nonprofit, which could be randomly selected um, to present to our group. And then typically at our quarterly meeting, we have three nonprofits that each get to share for just five minutes. And then they get five minutes to answer questions from our members and then all of our members vote and whichever organization receives the most votes, everybody writes their check directly to the charity um, for a total of $10,000. For a total of how much? Ten thousand dollars we give to a local nonprofit. Wow, that's profit. what I thought you said. I, yeah, that's right. That's <laughs> what a great thing to do. I mean, that is that's such an awesome feeling. Now, how many? So do you do the, you said every quarterly, so every three months or so. That's right. So how many have you given to? So it's been. In, don't make me do the math. Tell me. <laughs> we just <laughs> finished our yeah. We just finished our sixth big give. Um, and so we've actually given more than 10,000 to most of our organizations. So um, together we've donated about $65,000 in the last 16 months. That is amazing. What a cool concept. I mean, it's so simple. Exactly. Yet so effective. So powerful. We know that women want to give back, but not everybody has a lot of time. I personally have young children. It's hard for me to volunteer or spend a lot of time out of the home. Um, under normal circumstances, of course, everything's even harder now. Um, but so our meetings are usually one hour um, with an optional one hour social hour. Um, but by showing up for that one hour, you can make a huge impact. And, you know, most people want to give back, but it's hard to feel like your $25 or even $100 donation makes a big impact. But when you combine your $100 donation with 100 other women to feel like you had a choice in saying who receives that $10,000 and to hear directly from the nonprofit about how the funds will be spent and then afterwards how they were spent, it's really empowering. It helps you feel like what you're doing really does make a difference in our community. I love that. So you give $100 and let me make sure I understand this correctly. So if I join, I give $100. And then if I go to the meeting or do I at some point just nominate who I want the money to go to? How do I nominate? Um, I you just nominate through our website. It's a very simple form. You can nominate one nonprofit in a year um, and you can change your nomination next year if you'd like. And so okay. for each meeting, we just randomly select three of the nominated nonprofits and invite them to come present at the meeting. Oh, and if you can't come okay. to the meeting, that's okay. We ask everybody to give whether or not they're able to attend. Um, and, and actually our last meeting wasn't able to be held in person. So everybody had the opportunity to vote um, through email this past time. And we'll probably be doing something similar in August, um, which is our next upcoming meeting. And so can anybody join? Uh, any woman can join, yes. And we do allow guests as well. Um, so if you want to check it out and participate once before committing, that's an option as well. Um, and for our most recent event, we actually allowed anyone to participate because we did have some members who unfortunately were um, impacted financially by the current pandemic. And so we knew some folks had lost their jobs or had reduced income. And so we did invite people to give through Facebook to participate in our event. So we were really grateful for that. Otherwise, we might not have reached our, our $10,000 goal. Um, our most recent recipient is One Acre Cafe, which is a wonderful community cafe in Johnson City. They've been doing things a little bit differently as well lately. Usually um, they give free meals to those who need it um, in exchange for volunteering. 
but they're not able to have as many volunteers as usual. They're doing curbside pickup, hot, nutritious meals. And so the need has gone up much more than usual. And also their paying customers have decreased as compared to the past. And so we're really glad to be able to support them in their important mission right now. Oh, man, I bet that money came in so handy. Perfect timing for them. Yes, mm. absolutely. And and it was a special big give. Um, instead of choosing three of the nominated nonprofits randomly for our most recent event, we chose three organizations locally that were providing food for those in need because we realized that was a big, urgent need. And we actually did it sooner than usual. We, um, we were supposed to have our event in mid-May, but we started at the end of April just to try to get the funds to the nonprofit as soon as possible. And we okay, just reached so our that- goal on Friday. I'm sorry. So that reminds me to ask this question. So you can give to local and national charities. They don't all have to be local or are they all local? They are all local. We do allow um, national organizations if they serve locally. So for example, um, it could be the Salvation Army, but we would give the funds to the local Salvation Army in Bristol, Kingsport, or Johnson City. And we want to ensure that the funds stay local and and, um, don't go to other places. Okay, so tell me, Becca, how can people get involved? So you've got a website, you've got Facebook, Instagram, different ways they can sign up, right? That's right. Our website is tricitieswomenwhocare.com. And you can find us on Facebook, also Tricities Women Who Care, same thing on Instagram. Um, we are looking for new members. We typically only have just enough members to meet our $10,000 goal. There are always women who move out of the area or who are no longer able to give for whatever reason. And so we're always seeking new members. And especially now that some of our members aren't able to give as much as usual. Um, so the membership form is on our website. It's very simple, easy to sign up. You just commit to giving that $100 every quarter. And actually we have a team option as well if that's too much. You can find um, a partner to join you and you can each pledge to give $50 every quarter. Um, Oh, I love that. Yeah. And then um, once you've filled out the membership form, you're immediately eligible to nominate your favorite nonprofit to receive $10,000. And that's another simple form on our website. Um, We have a nonprofit coordinator who vets all the nonprofits. It's very simple. We just require that um, the nonprofit serves in one of the um, eastern eight counties of Northeast Tennessee or uh, Bristol, Virginia or Washington County, Virginia. That's our service area. Um, And then we also require that they be a 501c3 nonprofit. And the last requirement is they've been in operation for at least a year. So we just want to make sure that they're going to have some longevity. We're not funding brand new startups. That is great. So this keeps you pretty busy, but what a wonderful hobby for you to have, so to speak. What a cause that is so fantastic that you touch so many different needs in our area. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much for thinking about that. Now tell me some of the other nonprofits that have benefited from this group. Sure. Well, the very first one was Isaiah 117, and we were so excited to support them. Um, We helped contribute $10,000 towards the um, building of the new house in Washington County, uh, Tennessee here. So that was really exciting, wonderful first big give. Uh, After that, we donated to Seasons of Hope, which helps um, people who often fall through the safety net, maybe grandparents raising grandchildren, working poor, people who maybe make just a little bit too much to be eligible for other social services. Um, We also donated to Levi's Legacy, which is a wonderful nonprofit that helps um, with drowning prevention and education and um, rescue swim lessons for infants. Mm -hmm. We also donated to Help Our Potential Evolve in Kingsport, which is a great program for teens um, and uh, cultural connections, and they do a lot of great work. Um, Back in February this year, we donated to Cherished Mom. Um, which helps women with postpartum depression and provides a great support system um, for women. And then most recently, of course, was One Acre Cafe. So these are all fabulous organizations. Most of them we have had on the show. And I know firsthand how wonderful they are. And wow, $10,000 can make a big difference in how they can run their organizations. 
Absolutely. And we, we like the fact that we make it simple for nonprofits. They don't have to write a long grant application to us. They just have to come speak for five minutes, answer five minutes of questions. We ask for a very short follow-up report six months after they receive the funds. Um, and so we know that nonprofits work really hard to fundraise and we just want to make it easy to support them. They deserve the money. They don't need to beg for it. Um, we try to do all the hard work of collecting the funds, making sure we get the full amount and um, passing it along to them. So we're just grateful we've had so many people interested in participating in this endeavor. So every three months get together and everybody meets in a room. Do you have dinner and or just a meeting and then you vote, right? Yeah, so there's an optional social hour before the meeting and we do hors d'oeuvres and we do um, bingo activities or other kinds of fun mixers just to get to know each other. Um, and then during the hour meeting, we hear the presentations from the three nonprofits, the Q&A, and then we always have a previous uh, recipient come back and share how they've used the funds. And that's probably my favorite part because they're not nervous, they're not up for anything, you're not competing, they're just um, sharing what they've done in our community. And it's been a great experience in addition to the nonprofits, of course, being supportive. We've had wonderful connections made between our members. We love connecting women with other women and just seeing, you know, who's passionate about the Tri-Cities and how we're all working in our own ways to improve things in our region. So I've personally made a lot of great friends and, you know, good networking opportunities as well. I love this. I'm, I'm so happy that you have started this in our community. And it's people like you that make our area so great. So 100 plus Tri-Cities Women Who Care. So if anybody's interested, that's a woman. They can get a hold of you through the website, Facebook, Instagram. Just Google 100 plus Tri-Cities Women Who Care and your information will come up. And this sounds like such an awesome, awesome opportunity. I'm glad I'm a part of it. And thank you so much for being on the show today. And I hope a lot of people will join and help out with this endeavor. Thank you so much, Becca Davis, for being here today. Thank you, Linda. I really appreciate it. You're welcome. And we'll see you guys back here next week with another edition of A Closer Look. Have a fantastic week. 